Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and let all that's within me bless his holy name. King of glory, we bless you this morning. Jehovah, we bless you. Yahweh, we bless you. And we thank you today for life. We thank you for your unfailing love, O oh God, and your wonderful deeds. We thank you for your faithfulness towards us and for your righteousness. Lord, we thank you for your sovereignty and your promises to be near us whenever we call. With all of our hearts this morning, O oh God, we give you thanks. In the great assembly, O oh God, we give you thanks. Among the thrones, O oh God, we will praise you and we will tell of your wonderful deeds. Your praise, O oh God, shall continually be on our lips. For you are great, O oh God, and greatly to be praised. Yahweh, we lift you high. Be lifted high. Jesus, be lifted high. We lift you high today above every problem. We lift you high today above every sickness, every affliction, every delay, every lack. Jehovah, we exalt you higher. Let every other name that rises itself up against your name, O oh God. Father, be cancelled today. We cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of you, O oh God. For there is nothing, Father, that you cannot do. Nothing impossible for you to do. There is no situation, O oh God, that you cannot change. There is nothing beyond you. So we left every problem and every challenge before you, O oh God. And we say thank you. Lord, we thank you. Oh, how we thank you. We are, we are thanking you and in advance, O oh God, for the mighty move of your hand in our lives, O oh God, and in our situations. What is too hard for you to do, O oh God, it does not exist. Father, we are thanking you even before we see the manifestation of our breakthroughs in the physical. For we know that it is already done. Oh, hallelujah. Let our King be lifted high. Jesus, oh, we lift you high. Oh, how we exalt you forever and ever. And we will sing your name forever and ever. King Jesus, we exalt you today and we lift you high. And we say, have your way. Take all the glory, honor and praise, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I welcome you to another recharge session. It's good to have you here with us this beautiful Wednesday. May the Lord bless your life. May the Lord bless all that concerns you. In Jesus' name, I pray that at the end of this short message, this short encouragement, that you will feel completely recharged, that you will feel completely powered up, that you will be completely excited about what the Lord is going to do. Praise his mighty name in your life. He is able. Today, I just want to share with us briefly on I will not be barren or unfruitful. I want you to say that to yourself. I will not be barren or unfruitful. I will produce fruit. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to read 2 Peter. I'm going to look at, I'm going to read uh, verse 8, 2 Peter 1 and verse 8 first. And then I'm going to go back and go from verse 5 and come down. Because I want you to understand this, so I chose to read it in this way. Verse 8 says, For if these things being you and the bung, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful. In knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is it that we need to have inside of us that will cause us to produce fruit and not be barren what is it that we need inside of us to produce fruit praise the name of the lord 
So here we go. Let's, let's go to verse 4. And verse 4 says, what can keep us barring? Let me tell you, verse, based on verse 4. Whereby are we given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. So therefore, God has given us some divine tools, or God has given us things that we can have inside of us that will cause us not to be barren nor unfruitful. Praise the name of the Lord. And this, these things will come up, will fight against the, the, the lust of the world. Praise the name of the Lord. So the lust of the world causes corruption. But if we have these things, then you and I are able, praise the name of the Lord God Almighty, are able to function in a land of milk and honey. Let's read verse 5. And beside, or on a view of all this, as one translation says, giving all diligence, so diligence is seeking, be obedient, striving, praise the name of the Lord, labor, add. So, so the Bible is saying, and add these things, praise the name of the Lord, add to your faith, virtue, add to your virtue, knowledge. Praise the name of the Lord. Virtue is like a supplement. You know, when you are exercising and you want to give your body a little boost or, or you want to add additional to your body, you use supplements. So virtue is supplement. So add to your faith supplement. Praise the name of the Lord. And then it says, um, you know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally loving this because you and I can live in a land of faithful, of fruitfulness. And we can live in a land of, 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 of um, productivity and not be barren or be unfruitful. Praise the name of the Lord. So we add virtue to knowledge. And in virtue to knowledge means to step up what we know. Praise God. To be able to give or get more information about our situation. So we're adding virtue to our knowledge. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in all you're getting, get understanding. Knowledge, add to your knowledge. You add temperance to your knowledge. Patience to godliness. So all of these things, these things that I've mentioned so far, causes you and I to function in fruitfulness. The lack of these things will cause us to function in the land of barren. And we do not want to function in the land of barren, but we want to function in the land of fruitfulness. So if you are adding faith, if you're adding virtue to your faith, if you are adding godliness to your knowledge, if you're not adding knowledge to your temperance, then you and I are able to function in fruitfulness. Praise the name of the Lord. And your patience, to your patience, you add godliness. And to godliness, you add brotherly kindness. And to kindness, you add charity. In other words, to, kind, to charity, and to kindness, you add love. Because it's possible to be kind and not have love. Lord, help us. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you and I, in order for us to move away from the lust in the world, in order for us to function in the land of milk and honey, we must have these things that the Bible in 2 Peter is, chapter 1 is giving us today. So that you, we, you, me, our friends, those who love us, those who know the Lord, will function in complete fruitfulness. Not in the land of barren, but in the land of fruitfulness. Praise the Lord God Almighty today. I hope you're understanding this, this message today. I hope you're understanding what I'm sharing with her because you be want to function in the fullness of God. The Bible is saying if we're going to function in the fullness of God, we must have godliness. We must have temperance. We must add virtue to our faith. We must add knowledge. All of these things causes us not to dwell in the lust of the world, but causes us to live in a better place, praise the name of the Lord, a place of fruitfulness and not a place of barren. Praise God. God has given you and I precious promises. God has given to us all we need. God has given all that we will ever need. God has provided for you and I everything that we need. God has provided 
everything that our lives require, God has provided. But you and I, in order for us to function in a place of fruitfulness, you and I must have the things that Peter says we must have. They are necessary. Praise the name of the Lord. So to ensure that these promises come to fruition, we must have, we must add virtue to knowledge. Praise the Lord. We must have, we must add patience to temperance and we must have, add godliness to patience or patience to godliness, godliness to brotherly kindness, brotherly kindness to charity. Let me read it in the way the Bible have it. We must read, we must have knowledge to temperance. We must add knowledge to temperance. We must add temperance to patience. We must add patience to godliness. We must have godliness to brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, we must have add charity. Praise the Lord. If you want to be fruitful in your life, that's what the Bible says to us in, in, in verse 8. The Bible says in verse 8, for these things, if these things, for if these things be in, in you and abound in you, then if they are part of your life, if they are part of your practices, if they are part of your belief system, if they are part of what you do on a daily basis, if they are part of what you learn on a daily basis, if they are part of what you are you're intentionally practicing, praise the name of the Lord, then you shall not be barren nor unfruitful. None of us, if we are able to have these things that Peter says we must have, we will function in the land of milk and honey. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning, I trust you are being recharged. I trust that you are understanding the Bible has given us the tools to make it in this life. The Bible has given us the tools to make it in this world. The Bible has given us the tools to be better people. The Bible has given us the tools to function in complete fruitfulness. Praise the name of the Lord today. What do you believe? What are you going to practice? Are you going to practice what God says? Are you going to let? The world decides what you should have or what you shouldn't have. I say to us today that we will practice what the Bible says we shall practice. We will do what the Lord says we should do. The word of God is good for reproach. The word of God is good for teaching. The word of God is good for information. Praise the Lord. The word of God is good for us. What are we going to do with what God has given unto us today? Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. We want to be fruitful. We do not want to be barren. We do not want to be barren people. We do not want to be persons who are not functioning to our full potential. We do not want to be persons that are functioning on, less, uh, on, on misdemeanors. We want to be functioning in truth and divine wisdom. So the Bible says that we need to add virtue to our faith. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says we need to add virtue to our lives. Hallelujah. Praise God. These are the substance of the Lord God Almighty that God has given to us that we do not have to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Praise God today. The knowledge of Christ. Oh, how we want the knowledge of Christ. You and I, we want the knowledge of Christ to be able to function in this world. If we do not have the knowledge of Christ, if we do not have the wisdom of, of Christ, you can, you can guarantee that we, how, how we are going to function is not how God has called us to function. God has called us to function in divine favor. God has called us to function in divine blessing, but we have to be able to take part of the scripture. We have to be able to take the scripture for ourselves. 2 Peter chapter 1, all the way down from verse 1, all the way down to verse 8. If we want to live in fruitfulness, if we want to cut out the barrenness in our lives, praise the name of the Lord. We need to have these sweet, delicious things. Hallelujah. We want to be able to feast on these things. Praise God. We want to feast on knowledge. We want to feast on temperance. We want to feast on godliness. We want to feast on brotherly kindness. We want to feast Feast on, on charity, praise the name of the Lord. God has provided for us all that we need, ladies and gentlemen. God has provided the food that we need. God has provided for us the information for us to make it in this life. Hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. Do you want to make it? Do you want to make it? Again, I say, do you want to make it? Do you want to function in complete freedom? Do you want to be a fruitful person? If you want to be a fruitful person, you have to have temperance. You have to have kindness. You have to have godliness. You have to have godly uh, godly love. Praise the name of the Lord. And most of all, you have to have charity. This is how we are able 
to be fruitful people if the lack of these things will cause us to lack to, to function in the land of barren who wants to function in the land of barren certainly not me and i'm sure you don't want to either i am sure you want to function in the land of milk and honey praise the lord i'm sure you want to function in the place of fruitfulness oh how beautiful it is to see a tree producing fruit when you plant your tree and you see your tree producing fruit you feel good about it you're excited about it i plant uh, a, a, a a mango tree and the monkeys have a feast off of my mangoes and i don't get to eat them and that, that annoys me praise the lord so imagine if I was getting my mangoes, so how happy I would be. What about you? When you are planting in your life and planting things in your life, you want to be able to reap the beautiful fruit. Praise the Lord. The beautiful fruit. Hallelujah. It's what God has given to you and I to partake of. But to partake of it, ladies and gentlemen, we want temperance. We want godliness. Hallelujah. We want, the, we want, we want to add to our faith virtue. Because this causes us not to function in the land of barren, but to function in the land of fruitfulness. Praise the Lord today. Praise the Lord today. I want you to be able to function in the land of fruitfulness. I do not want you to function in the land of barren at all. I do not want it for myself and I do not want it for you. I want you, ladies and gentlemen, to function in the land of milk and honey. I want you to be, to be producing fruit. I want your life to be producing fruit. I want your business to, to be producing fruit. I want everything that concerns you, praise the name of the Lord, to be producing fruit. Why? Because that's what God has said. God said this, that you and I can do this. You and I can do this. We can be better people. We can live better lives if we are able to apply this word to our lives today. I am praying that you are recharged. I am praying that your spirit has been lifted. I am praying that everything about you is being challenged now and you are able to tell yourself, I can function in the land of milk and honey. I can function in fruitfulness. I refuse to be barren, praise the name of the Lord. No, no, no. Me and barren are no friends, praise God. But I and fruitful are friends. Praise the name of the Lord today. Praise God. Fruitful and I are friends. Barren and I, you're not friends, I'm sorry. Praise the name of the Lord. What are we going to do? So God has left us to maneuver ourselves in this world with these things that he has given unto us. These things. And you can read the scripture for yourself. For 2 Peter chapter 1, read all the way down to verse 8. And you'll see what God has called you and I to. What God has said is capable in you and what is capable in me. What we are capable of what we can do hallelujah praise the lord today so he has given us these tools we don't have to pray for them they are right there in the scripture the scripture says if you want to live abundant if you want to live free if you want to do these things if you want to have the best of life or the most of life what do you do you add to your faith virtue to your virtue to, to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly love and to brotherly love charity that's what the bible is saying today so if we want these things hallelujah we must be able to partake of this beautiful scripture i trust that you have been blessed today i'm gonna stop here now because i believe you have heard enough i pray that the lord will bless your life and I pray that you will be able to live out the word of God over all that concerns you. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. And that you are able to live in a better place knowing that God has provided all the tools that you need for this life. I bless your life. I bless all that concerns you. Father, even as you've given us this word that we shall not live in barren, but we shall be faithful, fruitful. Thank you, Lord. We pray that our lives are blessed. All that concerns us are blessed. 
I bless everyone that has is watching this program and everyone who will watch it, oh God. Bless their lives, oh God. And bless all that concerns them. Make them a blessing in Jesus' name. If you do not know Jesus Christ as Savior, please say this simple prayer. Jesus, I come. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I confess that you are Lord and, and my Savior in Jesus' name. Amen. If you had prayed that simple prayer, welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the body of Christ. Please send us a, a message at our email or you can give us a call or you can send us a message on any of our social media accounts. We'll be glad to hear from you. And we pray that the blessings of God will be on your life. If you cannot contact us and you have a Bible-believing church nearby, please, by all means, connect with that church and get to know Jesus Christ better. He wants to know you. He wants to hear from you. He completely loves you. Praise the name of the Lord today. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining us for another Richard session. It has been my honor to share the word of God with you. I pray that you have been blessed. I pray that you have been encouraged. I pray that everything about your life will get to know Jesus Christ as Savior or everything about you will want to know Jesus Christ as Savior. Please get to know him. He is good and he is awesome. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm encouraging you to be a part of the, the Prophetic Encounter Conference this Friday at 7 p.m. Strategies for success, for a successful life. We, we really want you to be a part of it. It's going to be good. We're going to be sharing good information. We're going to, we are totally excited about sharing this, this conference with you. It's going to be via Zoom. You register. You can send an uh, email to Prophetic Encounter or you can, any of the numbers on the ad, we are really glad to have you as part of that session. So I pray that you will be there. I pray that you will tune in to, to, to that session and you will be blessed. Um, you know, you will be blessed. I'm, I'm telling you, you will be blessed. You, God will bless you through, you, you know, <laughs> I, I can't even say enough to you. I'm just totally excited about it. And I really are looking forward to seeing you. So that's the prophetic in the conference this Friday at 7 p.m. Register now. Don't wait too late. We don't want the spaces to be booked and you don't get through. Don't wait too late. Please um, make contact with us and be a part of, 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 of that session. So we are glad that you were here with us. We want to wish you a beautiful Wednesday, a beautiful rest of the week. We pray that you have been recharged and we pray that you have been powered up and we pray that we will see you on Third, on Friday at 7 p.m. for the Prophetic Encounter Strategies for, for Living Conference. God bless you. See you next week on Midweek Recharge. God bless you. Hi, I am Brian Callender. Join me in the Living Life God's Way team every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook and on YouTube. And in addition, we are also aired on Radio 365 Grenada. It will be our pleasure to host you in this show. We talk about life, things that matter to persons in life, and things that are necessary to be discussed. Our others may not discuss them, but join us, 6.30 p.m., Living Life God's Way.
Hello, I am Brian Kelly. On May 28 at 7 p.m., I will be hosting a session called Strategies for Successful Living, Strategies for Life, Strategies for Business, Strategies for Ministry. Would you join me then? It's going to be held via Zoom. For registration, please send your messages to Prophetic Encounter or the number that's available on the flyer. It will be really good to have you join us.